hello how to solve for s in this equation s to the power of six is equal to three to the power of six solution here we have x to the power of six is equal to three to the power of six then here is x to the power of six if you bring this to this side it become minus three to the power of six is equal to zero and s to the power of six can be written as s to the power of three to the power of two minus three to the power of six can be written as three to the power of three to the power of two is equal to zero this is in the form of perfect square that is if you have a square minus b square this is equal to a plus b bracket a minus b where a is equal to s to the power of 3 and b is equal to 3 to the power of 3 then this can be written as s to the power of 3 plus 3 to the power of 3 bracket bracket s to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3 is equal to 0. There are two cases here. The first case is s to the power of 3 plus 3 to the power of 3 is equal to zero and the second case is s to the power of three minus three to the power of three is equal to zero then from the first case here take note of this that if you have a to the power of three plus b to the power of three this is equal to a plus b bracket bracket a square minus a b plus b square then where a is equal to x and b is equal to 3 this can be written as x plus 3 bracket bracket a square minus three multiplied by s plus three square is equal to zero then this is s plus three bracket bracket a square minus three multiplied by x that is three x plus three square nine is equal to zero there are two cases here the first case is s plus three is equal to zero therefore s is equal to minus three and the second case is s square minus three x plus nine is equal to zero this is a quadratic equation let's solve this using quadratic general formula from this equation a is equal to one b is equal to minus three c is equal to nine then s is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus four ac over 2a then s is equal to minus bracket minus 3 plus or minus square root of minus 3 square minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 9 over multiply by 1 
s is equal to minus times minus 3 this is 3 plus or minus square root of minus 3 square that is 9 minus 36 over 2 s is equal to 3 plus or minus square root of 9 minus 36 that is minus 27 over 2 now s is equal to 3 plus or minus square root of minus 27 can be written as square root of 9 multiplied by 3 multiplied by minus 1 over 2 now s is equal to 3 plus or minus 3 i square root of 3 over 2 so these are also the values of x now let's consider the second case that is s to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3 is equal to 0 from s to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3 is equal to 0 take note of this that if you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 this is equal to a minus b bracket bracket a square plus a b plus b square then where a is equal to x and b is equal to 3 so this can be written as s minus 3 bracket bracket a square plus 3 multiplied by x plus 3 square is equal to 0 then this is s minus 3 bracket bracket s square plus 3 times s 3 x plus 3 square 9 is equal to 0 there are two cases here the first case is s minus 3 is equal to 0 therefore s is equal to 3 and the second case is s square plus 3x plus 9 is equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation. Then from this equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 3, c is equal to 9. x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4 a c over 2 a then s is equal to minus 3 plus or minus square root of 3 square minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 9 over 2 multiplied by 1 x is equal to minus 3 plus or minus square root of 3 squared that is 9 minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 9 that is 36 over 2 s is equal to minus 3 plus or minus square root of minus 27 over 2 then s is equal to minus 3 plus or minus 3 i root 3 over 2 these are also the value of x therefore our final answers are x1 is equal to 3 then s2 
is equal to minus three. S three is equal to three plus three i root three over two. S four is equal to three minus three i root three over two. S5 is equal to minus 3 plus 3 i root 3 over 2. And then X6 is equal to minus 3 minus 3 i root 3 over 2. So these are the values of S. You can see that we have two three root and then four complex roots so this is complex this is complex this is complex this is complex and this is real and this is real i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my channel bye